Hi there, this is DJ Gizzard. I was thinking about this whole thing with Edward Snowden and how the cell phones spying on us, kind of like the old country trunk lines. Here's what I mean. When I was a little girl, I lived in Louisville, and every summer we'd go visit my grandma down in the boot hill of southern Missouri, down there in Poplar Bluff. Now, back in this little town, they didn't have private lines for the telephone. I don't know, you young people don't know about this, but they had what they call trunk lines or party lines. So everyone in the town had to share the line and everyone could hear what everyone else was saying. So you had to wait till old Mrs. So-and-so got off the phone before you could make your call. So it's kind of like living in a dormitory where you're waiting for everyone to use the phone. Uh, so what would happen was, I was about five years old, I guess. So my grandma, she liked to get up in everyone's business. I think she had a crush on the old man down the street. This was after my grandpa died, so she wasn't cheating on nobody or nothing like that. But anyway, so she'd be in the living room. She'd pick up the phone real careful like. She'd press that little button and release it very slowly so it would make the big click noise. So they couldn't hear her coming in to the party line or the trunk line. She'd be sitting there listening in on everyone's business down there in Poplar Bluff. She'd be making expressions like, oh, so-and-so, so sleeping with so-and-so, and oh, oh, this is what's going on with uh, Mr. Uh, Hanson down the street. Uh, okay, she had the, you know, she had the info on everyone. So what I do, I pretend like I didn't know what was going on. I was about five. I burst in to the living room. Hey, Grandma, what you doing there, Grandma? Who you talking to, Grandma? She'd be like, no, 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 quiet, quiet. I'm listening to old Mr. Hanson. Shh, 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 quiet. But I knew that I'd be quiet because I had to play along like I didn't know I was busting in on her. So what I'm saying is I kind of busted her like she's big brother listening in on everyone's business. Just like the government can listen to you anytime they want on that cell phone device. They can turn it on even when you got it turned off, according to Edward Snowden. And uh, so I burst in on my grandma, just like Edward Snowden. Let it, the cat out of the bag, what was going on with the government. And now they got these young kids trained to report every single thing they think. I mean, they can't bark without going on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook and rep self-reporting. That's what they got them doing, self-reporting every little thought. And so they got it all categorized. They probably got some computer system putting you in the okay to go, could be dangerous, definitely a problem. But the problem is they had these other people that were already flagged as definitely a problem, but they didn't do nothing about it. They just let them go through. So they like spend billions of dollars spying on everything, but they don't do a damn thing about it, it seems, because they got all these people out there shooting up, doing all kinds of stuff. They probably got information that these are dangerous individuals. Most of them came out of the military, I think. They were just like PTSD, and they didn't get the right treatment. I mean... It's like they go to all this trouble to listen in on what we're thinking, what we're saying, what we're doing. But when it comes to that crucial moment of actually like, you know, doing something to stop these crazy people, I don't know what they're doing about that because it just seems like it's getting crazier and crazier. Every day you turn around, turn on the news, some new crazy thing, and you're like, oh no, not another one of these crazy shootings. It just... I don't know, just like everyday news. It used to be in, in our day, like maybe something crazy like that happened once a year. 
not even because they didn't have all those kind of AR-15s back then. But, I mean, just people are getting desensitized is what I'm saying. Like, it just happens so often that we're like, yeah, another one of them shootings. Like, it's like you got to shut down at some point because it's almost too much to to listen to all this bad news all the time. But, anyway, that's just my take on things with uh, the state of the world and I don't know. I don't know what the solution is, but uh, just uh, keep on keeping on. That's all I can say. And uh, don't forget that your gizzard identity. Keep on with your gizzardness. And uh, I got some cooking uh, videos up there. I made this really good soup tonight, but I haven't finished uh, all the editing. It's a, uh, it's a. Uh, something I made in a walk and it's kind of weird but it's pretty good so uh that was the if you want to look at the cooking video that one was the one that says that it's a squash collard green wok soup all right and talk to you later you have a good week all right many blessings